the universe is filled with objects and all sorts of mysterious phenomena that we still don't fully understand. Strange as it may seem, astronomers have discovered interstellar clouds actually filled with the same kind of alcohol found in beer. One of the strangest clouds is one that's filled with organic molecules, in particular with ethyl alcohol. Now that, of course, is the alcohol we drink. And so the idea that there could be this huge cosmic distillery is kind of a fun idea. But in fact, that's correct. Giant molecular clouds are enormous complexes of gas and dust. Some of them are up to a thousand times the size of our own solar system. Their dense and sizable cores allow for the formation of complex molecules that can produce a cosmic cocktail. In this microbrewery, barley, water, and yeast are used to produce alcohol. Whereas in interstellar molecular clouds, it's dust grains that serve as the key nucleation site for simpler molecules like molecular hydrogen, water, and carbon dioxide to come together and react chemically to form more complex molecules like ethyl alcohol. When the dust grains migrate closer to the center of the molecular cloud, they start to approach the central star that's forming in its core, and this heats them up, possibly enough to evaporate some of the complex molecules like ethyl alcohol off and into interstellar space. Thank you. Cheers. So just like this microbrewery, the dust grains in interstellar molecular clouds serve as meeting places where lonely molecules can form more complex molecules. The first alcohol cloud was detected in 1975. Since then, many more of these truly strange space clouds have been observed. The cloud G34.3, which resides in the constellation Aquila, is 1,000 times the diameter of our solar system. In fact, in G34.3, there's enough ethyl alcohol to supply 300,000 pints of beer every day to every single person on planet Earth for the next billion years. That'd be one heck of a party. The only downside is that it would probably give you a pretty bad headache because it's also mixed in with hydrogen cyanide, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, ammonia, and some fairly other not-so-nice chemicals. 